So I want to start this conversation talking about encryption. Um, as I'm sure you've been following, there were court decisions in Brazil that demanded the suspension, the suspension of WhatsApp in the entire country because uh, of the refusal of the company of uh, granting access to law enforcement about data. Sometimes we know that the data was the content of communications. Sometimes, possibly, what law enforcement actually wanted was to get access or to have a way to wiretap or have access to future communications. And that's something that made the debate uh, really interesting and encryption became somehow a hot topic in Brazil. Uh, so I wanted you first to uh, briefly try to explain to us how encryption works and why is it important to users that care about their communications and their privacy? Sure. Um, so encryption is really at the heart of security in the digital world. Um, so as people move more and more of their information online, encryption provides a lot of the protections um, that we're used to in the analog, in the real world. Um, things like keeping documents private, making sure that people um, who you don't want to see your communications aren't um, opening your letters, for example, your emails being the equivalent. And so encryption is, is that protection um, when you start talking about digital space. It's really important to provide companies with a lot of incentives to um, develop and implement really strong encryption. Because the problem is, is that there are a lot of vulnerabilities in digital products and services. Um, and people, when they use those services, um, just have natural insecurity built in. Um, I have yet to see any product that's 100% secure. But you want to talk to companies and really make them see the benefit of using encryption, the fact that it's good for their users. Um, it's inherently connected to human rights. Um, users really can only um, exercise their, their right to freedom of expression, their right to freedom of the press, privacy, um, if they have access to encryption. The problem is, is that actions like what we saw in Brazil with the, the court shutting down WhatsApp provide the wrong incentives to companies. Um, encryption is already, um, it can be expensive to develop, it can be difficult to implement, especially really strong encryption. Um, companies are trying to put in place whole new models um, and rethink security, and that's a really great process and we want them to do that. Um, but if they think that they are going to be subject to shutdowns or fines or imprisonment um, for doing that, it's going to make them think twice about it, which harms human rights, harms digital security, um, makes a lot of people um, more vulnerable to crime, which is exactly the opposite goal of what the government wants to accomplish. You know, they want to help solve crimes, but lack of encryption makes them makes people more easily um, to have their data vulnerable, to have their data compromised. Um, and that could be by people trying to take advantage of them financially and steal their credit card information, um, or to blackmail them, to steal their other personal data, to get access to anything. Um, and so that is what we're, we're trying to prevent, is, is that increase in crime. Um, it also makes them more protected against street crime because what the numbers show is that people are less likely to steal digital devices. You know, iPhones are, are a huge target for criminals because they um, have a high resale value. Um, but if those devices are encrypted, they are of less use, so you don't get those stolen as often, um, which is just another benefit of, of deploying this strong encryption. 